You, yes you, are one of the chosen ones. The fact that you are here right now, listening to this, is not by accident. You were drawn here because a part of you knows deep down that something more is calling you. You've been hearing it, haven't you? That inner voice, that quiet whisper that tells you there's a greater version of yourself waiting to be unleashed. It's time to listen to that voice. It's time to step into your power and raise your vibration in a way that you never thought possible. Not just a little, but 10x. Imagine what that would feel like. Imagine the kind of reality you could create when you tap into that higher state of being, using principles that have been around for millennia principles, like the law of attraction, which can be your most powerful tool. But before we dive into the how, let's talk about why you feel this calling. Why are you one of the chosen ones? You see, every soul comes into this world with a purpose. Some of us are here to awaken others, to be the light in the dark, to raise the collective consciousness. But here's the thing many of us forget. We get caught up in the noise of everyday life, in the expectations of society, and we lose touch with that deeper knowing within us. But you, you're different. You feel the pull. You've always known, haven't you? You've always had a sense that you were meant for something greater, something bigger than the mundane. Click subscribe to this channel to get more profound spiritual lesson. Now, if you're wondering, why me? Why am I chosen? I want you to realize that being chosen isn't about being special in some egotistical way. It's about being willing. It's about saying, yes, I am ready to step into my power, to align with my highest self. And when you say yes to that, the universe responds. The law of attraction is constantly at work, whether you realize it or not. Every thought you think, every emotion you feel, every belief you hold is sending out a signal to the universe. And that signal is magnetic. It attracts experiences, people, and opportunities that match the frequency you're emitting. But here's where most people get stuck. They want to change their lives, but they don't change their vibration. They try to manifest from a place of lack, from a place of fear, and then wonder why they keep attracting the same old patterns. Sound familiar? If you've ever tried to manifest something and it didn't work, it's not because the law of attraction failed. It's because your vibration wasn't aligned with what you were asking for. And that's what we're going to change today. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the law of attraction to raise your vibration 10x so that you can start manifesting the life you're truly meant to live. But first, let me ask you something. When you think about raising your vibration, what comes to mind? Do you think it's about feeling good all the time? Or maybe you think it's about meditating for hours a day, becoming a monk on a mountaintop. Sure, those things can help, but that's not the full picture. Raising your vibration isn't about escaping reality or avoiding challenges. It's about mastering your energy, moment by moment, no matter what life throws at you. It's about becoming aware of the energy you're putting out into the world and consciously choosing to shift it. So how do we do that? How do we shift our vibration in a way that's permanent and powerful? It all starts with one simple realization you are not your thoughts. Let that sink in for a moment. You are not the thoughts that run through your mind. You are the awareness behind those thoughts. And once you truly understand this, you gain the power to choose which thoughts you give energy to and which ones you let go of. Because here's the thing your thoughts are creating your reality. Every single one of them. And if you're constantly thinking thoughts of doubt, fear, and limitation, that's the reality you're going to create. 
Think about it. When was the last time you caught yourself in a loop of negative thinking? Maybe you were worrying about money or a relationship or your health. And how did that feel in your body? Probably heavy, constricted, low vibrational. Now, what if I told you that by simply becoming aware of those thoughts, you could instantly start to shift your energy? It's true. Awareness is the first step to raising your vibration. When you become aware of the thoughts that are keeping you stuck, you can choose to replace them with thoughts that are in alignment with the reality you want to create. So here's your first practical step. Start paying attention to your thoughts. Every time you catch yourself thinking something that doesn't feel good, stop and ask yourself, is this thought serving me? Is it helping me raise my vibration? If the answer is no, let it go. Replace it with a thought that feels better. It doesn't have to be a huge leap. If you're feeling really low, you don't have to jump to joy and bliss right away. Just find the next best thought. Maybe it's a thought of hope or gratitude or curiosity. Whatever it is, make sure it raises your vibration, even if it's just a little bit. Now, I know what you might be thinking. This sounds too simple. How can changing my thoughts really raise my vibration 10x? But let me ask you this. When was the last time you truly committed to mastering your thoughts? When was the last time you made a conscious effort to shift your energy, moment by moment, day by day? Most people don't, and that's why they stay stuck. But you're different. Remember, you're one of the chosen ones. You're here to break free from the old patterns and step into a higher state of being. And that starts with mastering your thoughts. But thoughts are just the beginning. In the next part, we're going to dive even deeper. We're going to explore the role of emotions in raising your vibration and how you can use the law of attraction to not only shift your energy, but to start attracting everything you've ever wanted into your life. Are you ready for that? Emotions, they're the fuel that powers your vibration. If your thoughts are the steering wheel, your emotions are the engine. And just like a car, if you're not fueling your emotional body with energy that matches where you want to go, you won't get there. Think about it. Have you ever tried to force yourself to think positive thoughts, but deep down, you still felt stuck, frustrated, or even hopeless? That's because your emotions were out of alignment with your thoughts. And here's the truth. Your emotions have a much stronger frequency than your thoughts. The law of attraction responds to your emotions more than anything else. So if you want to raise your vibration 10x, you have to start with your emotional state. But let's get real for a second. Emotions can be tricky, can't they? Sometimes they feel overwhelming, like you're stuck in a wave of sadness, anger, or anxiety that you can't get out of. Other times you might numb out disconnecting from your emotions because they're just too much to handle. And yet you've probably heard countless times, just feel good and you'll attract what you want. But how do you do that when life throws curveballs at you? How do you stay in a high vibrational state when everything seems to be falling apart? The first thing you need to understand is that emotions aren't something to be feared or suppressed. They are your compass. They are here to guide you. Every emotion you feel is information. It's showing you where you're in alignment with your higher self and where you're not. When you feel joy, love, and gratitude, that's your soul's way of saying yes. This is the direction to go toward when you feel fear, anger, or frustration. It's not a bad thing. It's simply a signal that somewhere along the way you've started to believe a thought or adopt a perspective that's out of alignment with your truth. So how do you use this emotional compass to raise your vibration? The answer is simple. 
but it requires practice allow your emotions to move through you without resisting them. You see, most of us spend so much energy resisting emotions that don't feel good. We push them down, we distract ourselves, we try to avoid them at all costs. But what happens when you resist something? It persists. That's why you might find yourself stuck in the same emotional patterns over and over again. The key to breaking free is to stop running from your emotions and start embracing them. Take a moment right now and think about an emotion you've been avoiding lately. Maybe it's fear. Maybe it's sadness. Maybe it's anger. Whatever it is, I want you to bring it to the surface. Don't push it away. Don't judge it. Just feel it. Feel where it lives in your body. Is it in your chest? Is it in your stomach? Is it in your throat? Wherever it is, just breathe into it. Allow it to be there. When you do this, you're not amplifying the emotion, you're actually giving it the space it needs to move through you and be released. You see, emotions are energy, and energy needs to flow. When you resist an emotion, you block that flow. But when you allow it to be, when you breathe into it and acknowledge it, you release the resistance. And here's where the magic happens once you've given the emotion the space to be felt. It will naturally begin to shift. You don't have to force yourself to feel good. By allowing the emotion to move through you, you clear the path for higher vibrational emotions like joy, love, and peace to naturally rise to the surface. But let's take this a step further. Once you've allowed yourself to feel and release lower vibrational emotions, how do you consciously raise your emotional vibration to 10x? This is where the law of attraction becomes your greatest ally. The law of attraction is always responding to the frequency you're emitting, and that frequency is largely determined by your emotions. So if you want to change what you're attracted to, you need to change how you're feeling. But here's the secret, you don't have to wait for external circumstances to change in order to feel better. You can start feeling better now, regardless of what's happening around you. How? By choosing to focus on emotions that are in alignment with the reality you want to create. Let's say you want to attract abundance into your life. What does abundance feel like to you? Maybe it feels like freedom, ease, excitement, or gratitude. Whatever it is, start cultivating those emotions now. You don't need money in your bank account to feel abundant. You don't need the perfect relationship to feel love. You can start feeling those emotions right now, simply by focusing on them. And here's the thing, the more you practice this, the easier it gets. At first, it might feel like a bit of a stretch. You might be so used to feeling lack or fear that it feels almost unnatural to focus on abundance or love. But that's just because you've been practicing those lower vibrational emotions for so long. The good news is, you can rewire your emotional body. You can train yourself to feel the emotions that are in alignment with your higher self. And the more you do this, the more you will naturally start attracting experiences that match those emotions. But let me ask you something. What emotion do you find yourself stuck in the most? Is it fear? Is it a doubt? Is it frustration? Whatever it is, I want you to get curious about it. Instead of trying to push it away, ask yourself, what is this emotion trying to tell me? What belief or thought is at the root of this emotion? Because here's the thing, emotions are always linked to thoughts. And if you're feeling a lower vibrational emotion, it's because you're thinking a thought that's out of alignment with your higher self. Once you identify the thought, you have the power to change it. 
And when you change your thoughts, your emotions naturally begin to shift. But here's where most people get it wrong. They try to force themselves to think positive thoughts without addressing the underlying emotion. And what happens? It doesn't work. That's why I'm telling you to start with your emotions. Allow them to move through you. And then from that place of emotional clarity, you can start to consciously choose thoughts that are in alignment with the reality you want to create. Now, here's your next practical step every day. Take a few minutes to tune into your emotions. Ask yourself, how am I feeling right now? Is this emotion in alignment with the vibration I want to be emitting? If the answer is no, don't judge yourself. Just allow the emotion to be there. Breathe into it. Feel it fully. And then, once it has moved through you, consciously choose to focus on an emotion that feels better. It could be gratitude, love, excitement, or even just a sense of calm. Whatever it is, make sure it raises your vibration. And here's the beautiful part, the more you do this, the more you'll start to notice that your external reality begins to shift. You'll start attracting people, opportunities, and experiences that match your new vibration. That's the law of attraction in action. But it all starts with your emotions. You are the creator of your reality, and your emotions are your most powerful tool for shaping that reality. So, now that you understand the importance of emotions in raising your vibration, are you ready to take it to the next level? In the next part, we're going to dive into the final key to raising your vibration 10x taking inspired action. Because, as powerful as thoughts and emotions are, they're only part of the equation. To truly manifest the life you desire, you must align your actions with your new vibration. Are you ready to find out how? Now that you've mastered your thoughts and emotions, it's time to talk about the final piece of the puzzle inspired action. This is where the magic really happens. You see, the law of attraction isn't just about thinking good thoughts, feeling good emotions, and waiting for things to fall into your lap. No, it's about aligning your actions with the vibration you're emitting. It's about stepping into the version of yourself that has already manifested what you desire and taking action from that place of alignment. But what do I mean by inspired action? It's not the same as just doing things for the sake of being busy. It's not about hustling, grinding, or pushing yourself to the brink of exhaustion. Inspired action is different. It flows. It flows. It feels natural. It feels like the universe is guiding you, as if you're being pulled towards something, rather than forcing yourself to make things happen. Inspired action comes from a place of inner alignment. It's the kind of action that feels exciting, that makes your heart race a little, that fills you with a sense of purpose. Let me ask you something, when was the last time you took an action that felt truly inspired? I'm not talking about the things you do because you feel like you have to do them. I'm talking about the things you do because you feel called to do them. Maybe it was starting a new project, reaching out to someone, or taking a leap of faith in a certain area of your life. How did that feel? Probably exhilarating, right? That's because inspired action is in alignment with your higher self. It's in alignment with the vibration of the reality you're trying to create. But here's where most people get stuck. They wait. They wait for the perfect moment. They wait until they feel 100% ready. They wait until the stars align or until they've figured it all out. But let me tell you something, you will never feel fully ready. There will never be a perfect moment. The only moment you have is now. And when you're aligned with your higher self, the universe will present you with opportunities to take action. 
but it's up to you to recognize those opportunities and act on them. That's the difference between those who manifest their desires and those who don't. It's not that one person is luckier or more gifted than the other. It's that one person is willing to take action, even when they don't have all the answers. So let's break this down. How do you know when an action is inspired? How do you know when the universe is nudging you in the right direction? It's simple inspired action feels expansive. It feels exciting, even if it also feels a little scary. It's the kind of action that pushes you outside of your comfort zone, but in a way that feels aligned with where you want to go. When you're about to take inspired action, you might feel a sense of nervous anticipation, but underneath that, there's a deep knowing that this is the right step for you. On the other hand, action that is not inspired feels forced. It feels like you're pushing against the current, like you're trying to make something happen, even though it doesn't feel right. You might feel drained, frustrated, or overwhelmed. That's a sign that the action you're taking is out of alignment with your higher self. And here's the thing, when you take action from a place of misalignment, you slow down the manifestation process. You create resistance, and that resistance blocks the flow of energy that's trying to bring your desires to you. So how do you start taking inspired action? It begins with listening to your intuition. We all have an inner guidance system that's constantly communicating with us. But most of us are so caught up in the noise of the outside world that we don't hear it. That's why it's so important to cultivate stillness in your life. Whether it's through meditation, spending time in nature, or simply taking a few moments each day to quiet your mind, creating space for inner stillness allows you to tune into the guidance that's always available to you. Let me give you a practical example. Let's say you're trying to manifest a new career opportunity. You've been thinking the right thoughts. You've been feeling the emotions of excitement and abundance. But now, it's time for action. Maybe one day you get a sudden urge to reach out to someone you haven't spoken to in a while, or you feel a pull to attend a networking event, or you get an idea to start a side project. That's inspired action. It's the universe giving you a nudge, saying, here's your next step, and when you follow those nudges, you'll find that doors start to open for you, often in ways you never could have predicted. But here's the key you have to be willing to act, even when it doesn't make logical sense. Inspired action often defies logic. It doesn't always follow a straight, predictable path. Sometimes it might feel like you're being led in a completely different direction than you expected. But that's because the universe has a perspective that is far greater than yours. It can see the bigger picture. It knows what needs to happen in order to bring you to your desired outcome. Your job is to trust that guidance and take the next step, even when you don't know where it will lead. Now, I want you to think about your current situation. What is one action you've been feeling called to take, but have been hesitating on? Maybe it's a phone call you've been avoiding, a project you've been putting off, or a new direction you've been afraid to explore. Whatever it is, I want you to tune into your intuition right now. Ask yourself, is this action in alignment with the reality I want to create? Does it feel expansive, even if it feels a little scary? If the answer is yes, then I'm here to tell you it's time. It's time to take that inspired action. And here's the beautiful part when you start taking inspired action, the universe responds. It meets you halfway. You don't have to figure everything out on your own. You just have to take the first step and then the next step will be revealed to you. That's how manifestation works. It's a co-creative process between you and the universe. 
And when you're in alignment, when your thoughts, emotions, and actions are all vibrating at the same frequency, as the reality you want to create manifestation becomes effortless. But let me be clear, this doesn't mean that challenges won't arise. There will be moments when doubt creeps in, when fear tries to hold you back, when things don't seem to be happening as quickly as you'd like. But that's all part of the process. Those challenges are there to help you grow, to help you refine your vibration. And when you face those challenges with courage and persistence, you raise your vibration even higher. Let me ask you a deep question. What kind of reality are you ready to create? Not just in your mind, not just in your emotions, but in your actions. What version of yourself do you need to step into in order to manifest that reality? Because here's the truth. You are the creator of your life. You are the one with the power to shape your reality. And when you combine clear, aligned thoughts, high vibrational emotions, and inspired action, there is no limit to what you can manifest. So here's your final practical step. Commit to taking one inspired action today. It doesn't have to be big. It just has to feel aligned. It might be a phone call, a conversation, a decision to start something new. Whatever it is, take that step. And then, trust that the universe will guide you to the next step, and the next, and the next. This is how you raise your vibration 10x. This is how you manifest the life you are meant to live. You are one of the chosen ones, and the world needs your light. It needs your high vibration. It needs you to step into your power and create the reality that only you can create. So what are you waiting for? The time is now. The universe is waiting for you to say yes, to step into the version of yourself that is aligned with your highest reality. Are you ready to take that leap? Peace, love, and infinite blessings to you, my friend. We are all in this together and I can't wait to see what you create. Now go out there, take inspired action, and watch how your vibration and your life transforms before your very eyes. As you take this journey of raising your vibration and manifesting the life you desire, I want you to remember something incredibly important. It's not about perfection. It's about progress. You don't have to get everything right immediately. You don't have to have all the answers. As one of the chosen ones, your path is unique and your growth will unfold in divine timing. There will be moments when you feel unstoppable, when you're vibrating at the highest frequency and everything seems to flow effortlessly. But there will also be moments when doubt creeps in, when old patterns resurface and when it feels like nothing is happening. So what does that look like in practice? It looks like continuing to raise your vibration, even when you don't feel like it. It looks like choosing gratitude when you want to complain. It looks like taking inspired action, even when fear tells you to stay small. It looks like trusting the process, even when you can't see the full picture. Because here's the truth, the universe is always conspiring in your favor. Even when things feel uncertain, even when the path ahead isn't clear, the universe is working behind the scenes to bring you exactly what you need. But here's the real secret, the more you trust, the faster things manifest. The more you surrender, the more the universe can flow through you. Trust and surrender are the ultimate acts of raising your vibration because they take you out of resistance and place you in a state of allowing. And when you're in a state of allowing, you become a magnet for miracles. Now, I know that the idea of surrendering can feel scary. As humans, we like to be in control. We like to know what's going to happen next. But here's the thing, control is an illusion. The more you try to control your reality, the more you create resistance. 
The more you hold on tightly to the outcome, the more you block the flow of energy that's trying to bring you what you desire. Surrendering doesn't mean giving up. It doesn't mean sitting back and doing nothing. It means trusting that the universe knows what's best for you and allowing things to unfold in divine timing. So, how do you surrender? How do you let go of the need to control? It starts with trusting yourself. Trusting that you are capable, that you are worthy, that you are enough. When you trust yourself, you naturally trust the universe because you understand that you are a part of the universe. You are not separate from it. You are a divine being connected to the infinite intelligence of the cosmos. And when you operate from that understanding, you know that everything is always working out for you, even when it doesn't seem like it. Let me ask you what would happen if you fully trusted yourself? What would happen if you let go of the need to control every detail and allowed the universe to guide you? Imagine the kind of peace you would feel. Imagine the kind of opportunities that would flow into your life. Imagine how much easier it would be to manifest your desires when you're not blocking the flow of energy with doubt and fear. This is the final piece of raising your vibration 10x, trusting the process. Trusting that every step you take, every thought you think, every emotion you feel is leading you exactly where you're meant to go. And when you trust the process, you align with the flow of the universe. You become a co-creator with the divine. And that's when the magic happens. 